I think it, being a doctor is a special privilege that you, uh, uh, you, know, you sort of see people when they need help, you see them when they're uh, at their most vulnerable, and so it, it's sort of a privilege to uh, help them when they're in need and when they're in that kind of situation. Primary care doctors handle a majority of uh, patients' pain. When they get to me, hopefully I can bring to bear some of the, the special skills and techniques, procedures uh, that I have learned uh, in my residency and fellowship and over the years to help them with their pain. So hopefully they're a lot better after they've seen me for a while. Pain is, is sort of a different thing than other problems, other medical problems that people have. People have high blood pressure and they know uh, sort of theoretically that it's bad to have high blood pressure, but they can't tell if their blood pressure is a little high or a little low. Same with diabetics, they usually can't tell if their sugar is a little high or sugar is a little low, but everybody's very aware of their pain. So I think when you help someone who has chronic pain, uh, you're, you're doing them a great service, hopefully, because uh, you know, it's, it's, it's something that they notice every second that you know, they're awake, especially people who have pain have a story to tell and I think that the most important thing, you know, the number one most important thing you can do for them is just listen to them and you know, let them tell their story and, and, uh, and just take it in. It's extremely rewarding if I can help them uh, and not just decrease their pain but increase their function. In fact, that's why I frequently tell patients that my number one goal for you uh, is to let you do the things that you want to do and need to do uh, and not have pain inhibit that.